Senator Loomis has made a request to go ahead of me. If that's the case, sure. it's fine with me. Uh, Senator Loomis is available by WebEx. Uh, Senator Loomis, you may proceed. Thank you, Senator Cardin, and thank you, Senator Inhofe. Uh, for giving me the opportunity to precede you here. My, my first question is for Mr. Prieto, and I'd like to talk about regional haze. Uh, Wyoming has a long history of regulating its air quality, and, and that means we have a long history of working with the EPA, uh, Wyoming's Department of Environmental Quality, the regional office of EPA, our AG's office, the governor's office, and Pacific Corps worked on two regional haze agreements that have been the subject of years of negotiation and litigation. Uh, the two power plants involved are the Wyodac plant near Gillette and the Jim Bridger plant near Rock Springs. Last year, agreement was reached with all these parties. In summary, the EPA agreed to use the state implementation plan with some EPA required revisions for both plants. These were really remarkable achievements and recognized the importance of state directed and managed enforcement decisions under state primacy. The result is that the regional Hays guidelines were met and met with the agreement of the parties, including EPA, under the state implementation plans and not the top down federal plans. So just last week, Wyoming was informed that the Jim Bridger agreement would not be sent to the federal register to complete the process. Now, again, this agreement was the result of negotiations and met every EPA request and requirement. Uh, that, that decision appears contrary to Administer, Administrator Regan's earlier statements recognizing the proper role of states. So, uh, Mr. Prado, should you be confirmed as general counsel, will you review the Jim Bridger decision and commit to review both the Jim Bridger and WIODAC settlement agreements that if the regional Hays goals are met, the state implementation plans should be honored? Senator, thank you very much for that question. And again, Senator, I, and I also recognize the importance of not only SIPs uh, in terms of the working relationship that we have with our state partners, but in general, the working relationship that EPA does have with its state partners. And Senator, I can tell you, in having experience in working with state partners in my various roles, it's a relationship that uh, I believe is, is very, very important and something that I know that Administrator Regan has committed to and that I would commit also to provide the legal counsel to support those efforts. Uh, if confirmed, Senator, uh, and again, as you know, I'm not part of uh, the administration at this point. I would be, I would very much like to be briefed on this particular matter, uh, so that I can review what the, uh, the the situation is, and I can commit to you, Senator, that I will be briefed, uh, that I will make myself familiar with this particular situation, uh, and again, recognizing the important relationship that EPA does have with its state partners. Thanks very much, Mr. Prieto. As you can see, this is a really important topic for my state, especially after all the years of negotiation that has occurred among all of the parties. Um, I have another question, of course. You're not going to be surprised about this question. I'm really concerned about the EPA's announced plans to scrap the navigable waters protection rule. Now, you previously served as general counsel at USDA, which manages 193 million acres in the US. So given that experience, in your view, where does federal jurisdiction of waters end? And thank you, Senator, very much for that question and, and absolutely uh, happy to answer. Uh, Senator, as you know that the Clean Water Act does give the federal government the authority to determine uh, which waters should be protected and which waters should not be protected from a federal standpoint. And I also absolutely appreciate your acknowledgement of my experience uh, in, in the government as well as serving at USDA. And I understand the balanced approach that's necessary on many of these issues. I can say again, and I support Administrator Regan and the Office of Waters approach, that they will be looking at the past examples and will learn from those and that there will be very broad stakeholder outreach, uh, not only to our state partners, our tribal partners, but also to the other interested entities. 
And I very much look forward, Senator, to working with the administrator in the Office of Water uh, to engage in that particular support to provide that legal, uh, that legal counsel and that legal support. And again, an acknowledgement, Senator, that there are many regulated entities that should be part of that approach. I know the administrator has already committed to doing so. And I very much look forward, if confirmed, to support his efforts in, in seeking that broad stakeholder approach as we find the balance uh, necessary and we move forward and we follow again the science and the law in coming up with the appropriate way to regulate the waters of the United States. Well, thank you, Mr. Prieto. My time has expired. Uh, Senator Inhofe, thanks for letting me uh, go ahead. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Uh, thank you, Senator.